Was it just as simple as putting an extra man in the box in the second half as far as what you did defensively, or was it what, what would you attribute to? No, nothing's ever simple. Um, when you're playing against those guys, they have a huge offensive line. They do a great job, and that running back is – as competitive of a running back that we've faced. He's a very hard runner. He's very quick. Uh, I thought we tackled a little better in the second half and um, uh, was able to limit the explosive plays because he was there for a while in the first half. He was taking off some 10, 12 yard chunks, you know, and really controlling the ball, the time of possession, the whole bit. We only had the ball four times in the first half. So uh, they did a nice job of controlling the ball in the first half. Was Eno Benjamin kind of similar to uh, Alex Madison of Boise State, or would you say they were different runners? They're different runners. Um, yeah, Madison, they're both great runners. Um, I think um, Benjamin's just a little more shifty. Um, not to say that Madison's not, but Madison's bigger, more physical, you know, type thing. But I was really surprised by how physical Benjamin was. He doesn't have the physical stature of Madison, but he runs really, really hard and has great balance and breaks tackles. And that's kind of what happened in the first half. We, he was breaking a lot of tackles and we weren't getting them on the ground. I thought we, we tackled him a little bit better in the second half. Yeah, this team's done a good job of avoiding turnovers all year. How were you able to overcome the two bad throws from, from Marcus? Uh, just play together as a team. You know, that's really unlike us. You, they're really three turnovers because the touchdown that that got called a touchback down there, um, that equals three. And so to turn the ball over three times in the second half and still uh, do enough to win the game, that typically doesn't happen because our team knows – Typically, the team who wins the turnover battle is, has the best chance to win the game. So for us to turn those balls over, defense be able to hold them, uh, and for us to respond after we got the ball back on a couple drives and put the ball in the end zone, I thought was key. Uh, but I think it says a lot about our team. Our team plays together. They believe in one another. Uh, they don't panic, and they just keep playing. And um, there was never any panic on the sideline about that. Um, everybody picked Marcus up um, and supported him. Uh, everybody picked DeJounte up. Um, it's just there's a lot of support, a lot of togetherness on this team. Coach, you've reached the 12 win mark since Fresno State history. How does that make you feel? It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Um, it's for these kids. You know, because the memories they're going to take away uh, from this is going to last them a lifetime. And they're going to have reunions for many years to come. Last night in our team meeting, we talked about the bond they need to keep through the rest of their lives. And um, they can say that they did something that no one else has done. And, uh, and it didn't come easy. They overcame a lot. Um, through their time here, especially these seniors. And so I'm just really proud of the, of the kids. And um, forever, they can, they, I tell them sometimes, how is history going to record this team? And we've said that week in and week out. And now I think they could put a real nice stamp on 12 wins is how history is going to record this team. Coach, uh, back in spring, Ronnie was told he may not play this year because of that injury. Uh, can you describe the feelings from then to now, him being a bowl MVP? Well, yeah, I mean, it was – we didn't know really how he was going to recover. and uh, But we were really patient with it. We did it the right way. We didn't rush him back. Uh, and, um, you know, the foot was not even the problem. He's been playing the last couple of weeks with a bad shoulder. And uh, he's a tough, tough kid and uh, obviously created a spark for us tonight. It was, there were tough yards inside and he just stayed patient. I thought our offensive line did a great job of continuing uh, to stay on the guys and create some seams for him because uh, that's not an easy defense to, to run the ball against. But I thought Kalen DeBoer did a nice job of staying patient with it. Uh, but to have Ronnie come back and, and be a big part of what we do, Obviously, we think a lot of him. Uh, he's a great player, not only a great player, but a great young man. A couple more questions. Coach, two years ago, you could count the players for the fans in the stands, and today the wave spilled out onto the field. So what does a win like this do for the program going forward? Well, I hope a lot. 
you know, it, uh, I hope that um, that's been the goal kind of all along is to, is to rebuild and, and bring the red wave back. Um, the first two games I was there when I wasn't the coach yet, but I was there in the stadium and it was an empty stadium. Uh, it was not something that I had been used to seeing and that wasn't the prime tradition I remembered. Uh, so I hope that, you know, our job is to do our part and um, I'm proud of these kids for doing that. And I'm really thankful for the fans who turned out. You know, it's after the game to look up there and see that that whole side was filled with red was a great feeling. And uh, I think the people of the Valley and the Red Wave take a lot of pride uh, in the football program. And I'm just, I'm thankful and happy that we could provide um, some good times for them and some good memories for them. Coach, in this day and age, it seems like football, everything's outscore the other team. It's very offensive minded. You guys were the throwback, kind of like the 85 Bears out there almost. Was that a philosophy thing coming in, or did it just develop over time? Can you just talk about how you guys became such a defensive oriented team? Well, you always want to play great defense, no doubt. And uh, our. Our coaches have done a great job of putting them in a good position. Our, it goes all the way back to so many little things. It goes back to fundamentals and techniques. It goes back to the strength and conditioning. It goes back to nutrition. All you know, There's so many things that go into it and what the standards and the expectations and the details that we go through every day um, is what we try to be about. And so it was no different last night of reflecting in our meeting last night and reminding them of what are the fundamentals, what are the standards, how do we do certain things uh, that have that has really been the formula to play good defense. And uh, But our kids play really, really hard. We have a lot of good players, but the effort that they play with is outstanding. Coach, most of these guys were on that 1-11 team. How do you want this 12-2 team to be remembered as? Well, as a group that that persevered. You know, I don't know if I've already said this. I might have said it outside. Uh, but I think it's a light life lesson about perseverance. Um, they went through a hard time two years ago. Uh, but to con continue to believe and work your way through certain things, life is like that. And I talked to him about that in the team meeting last night of, you know, whether we get 12 or whether we don't. Because this was about one game. This was about the number one. And uh, what they have persevered through, I think we're the only team, this group can be remembered as the only team in NCAA history that went from a double-digit losing season to back-to-back -back double digit winning seasons. So they have accomplished a lot. And uh, they should be very proud of that uh, because, like I said, it doesn't happen by talking about it. There's a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into it. All the early morning runs and all the, all the things that we do uh, for them to do this and you know last year winning whatever it was 10 games that we won Totally different coming into the next year because the targets on your chest and what they've accomplished with a target on their chest Says I think even more about them, but uh, it, it's really all about the kids and and their investment in the program and this coaching staff has been phenomenal uh, you know and and the whole support staff, you know, there's so many moving pieces to a football program and everyone has been so supportive with it. And uh, but it comes down to the guys between the lines that get it done.